International Viennese Waltz Lecture Series. We're going to talk about anchoring the shoulder into the hip. We're not so much going to collapse as just a feeling of weight so we get a hinging action. Let's try this on the natural turn and see where the hinges happen and where we can have a feeling of anchoring without disturbing the balance. So we'll do a natural turn. So I'm going to step. There's a little feeling of anchoring here anchoring into the floor, meaning that my right shoulder has a feeling of weight, not tilting, just a feeling of weight, of relaxation that pushes into the knee. We're going to have to go a little bit faster. Here and uh. Now, when I step back, I'm going to have a feeling of anchoring my left shoulder down through the rib cage, the hip, and the foot. We're not so much tilting, it's just a feeling of weight and trying to make that our axis. Let's go a little bit faster. So I'm going to create an axis point here on my left side, which helps the other leg, the other half of the body swing by. Let's do it a little faster. Natural turns, anchoring on the ones. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move an anchor. Move an anchor. So there's a movement first and then a feeling of anchoring. Very hard to do slow. <laughs> 